everybody it's me megs and we're just gonna jump right into this foundation highlight and contour routine i started off with a fresh clean face and now i'm gonna moisturize with my favorite it cosmetics confidence in a cream moisturizer it feels so good on my face and great for the fall winter months it just hydrates and allows my foundation just to glide on and look effortless effortless speak megan so i'm just gonna slap that right on all over my face like that and now i'm gonna use uh the bye bye under eye by it cosmetics too because i have some bags now and this just helps everything depuff and smooth out i use this every day especially before my makeup i love how it makes my under eye look and it helps avoid creasing which i noticed too so i put that on and of course my lips i'm using the glam glow um lip balm and to prime my face i'm going to use smashbox photo finish primer and this just helps minimize the appearance of my pores and helps my foundation look super like smooth and luxurious because i want to get a beat down look you know and i'm going to use the smashbox um under eye primer because i do have bags and some small lines now so this helps you know the concealer and the highlight just lay on really smooth so i'm just gonna apply that on there and let everything sit for a little bit just to you know get it all mixed up in there and now i'm going to kind of conceal my dark kind of spots because i have been you know experiencing breakouts you know due to my hormones so i'm gonna use this orange color corrector to kind of cancel out that darkness from some of my blemish scars there and this concealer stick is by smashbox as well all the names of everything will be in the description below too and i'm just going to use my fingers to kind of blend that out you know the warmth from my fingers just kind of melts everything in and you know i just like using my fingers for this part so i'm just going to blend everything away Now I'm going to use my Smashbox um, Studio Skin. I just started trying this out and I actually like this a lot. Uh, my color name will be in the description below. And I'm using this BH Cosmetics um, foundation brush. I really like using flat top foundation brushes because I just, feels like, I just feel like, you know, it just blends everything in together better. Some people use a beauty blender, but I just still prefer to use a brush because I feel like I have more control where... I'm blending everything out and I just kind of use patting motions underneath my eyes because I don't want to wipe away that orange kind of um, color corrector that we put on so I just like using this brush it just helps buff everything out and gives me the finish that I'm looking for and I really like this foundation it really gives me kind of like a full coverage look I like my makeup to be kind of like, you know, on, on. Like, I want to be flawless, you know. Even though some people might feel like, you don't need all of that. I'm like, yes, I do, because I want it. <laughs> so, this is kind of like how the look is. And now, I'm going to highlight. I'm going to spray my uh, Beauty Blender with some Fix Plus. I'm going to get it kind of damp here, because this is going to allow my highlight to just blend on my skin a little bit better. But I don't want my Beauty Blender too wet, so that's why I'm kind of like, squeezing it in there I'm gonna use my Mac Pro Longwear um, concealer and I'm going to just pump this on my hand just helps it warm up I'm only gonna use one pump because I don't need like too much highlight and I'm just gonna use some tapping motions with my beauty blender and just apply this underneath my eye and making sure that I look up to to help avoid any creasing so I always apply like a really thin layer and take my time with this and blend it out like that and I really like this um, hue of highlight because I don't want my highlight to be super bright, like looking crazy. So this is just enough highlight for me. So I'm just going to apply it first and then blend it out after. Like that. So I put on my cupid's bow, my chin, and now I'm going to do my nose. I'm using the pointy part of the beauty blender to apply the highlight to my nose. And I always kind of take it up um, halfway and then blend the 
remainder of the concealer up into kind of like the middle of my brow area I don't apply more concealer there because it's just too much I feel <laughs> now I'm going to use the booty end of the beauty blender and blend everything out using kind of like some pressing motions just to make sure everything's blended out like that And as you can see, it's slowly starting to blend out. And definitely want to make sure I blend my nose. Like that, because we don't want like, you know, what you want. Like, you don't want it to look crazy. <laughs> don't be out here looking crazy. Okay? So that's pretty much blended. Um, you know, that's pretty much it. So now I'm going to take my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I just started using this too. I really like how it looks so far on my skin. Uh, I'm just going to apply this only on the highlighted areas. I don't see myself using this as an all over setting powder. I just don't feel comfortable because I just don't. <laughs> so I only use it um, in my highlighted areas because I'm like scared that it will make my skin look a little bright on i mean bright as in not bright in a good bright you get what i'm saying you don't want to look ashy so i only put this in my highlighted areas and i absolutely love the look so i'm just gonna play apply this and you know bake with that and actually we were supposed to do this first so apply your contour before you set your highlight girl i had totally forgot i was so mad can you tell i was mad i was like I messed up so apply your contour your cream contour before you set with the powder and like this is by um, Colourpop the sculpting uh, sticks they're so so good I love how warm it um, it is too it just warms everything up so I'm gonna blend this out with a beauty blender and uh, you, I have to really blend this out for my contour and highlight so like I said before apply your cream before you set your highlight it just makes your life easier this just takes a little longer to blend out but it's okay you're just gonna sit there a little longer blending everything <laughs> so just blend blend away now since I messed up but we can fix it now we're gonna use the max studio no this is mac mineralized um skin finish um and um this is in dark and i'm applying this over my highlighted areas only so this powder is a little lighter so i'm applying that on top of the highlight and brushing away that laura mercier translucent powder too so it's like we're applying it and wiping away the previous powder just to bring back some color and I like this powder because it kind of gives me like a satiny look to my skin. It's my favorite. I've been using this for years. Now I'm going to take, um, is it deep dark or dark deep? And this is um, a nice chocolate tone. And it just warms everything back up as you can see. It kind of brings my face back to life. And I'm using an IT Cosmetics brush. I love this brush. It's my new favorite brush. So I'm only picking up a little bit of the uh, loose powder and just kind of blending everything into my face. And I love this brush because it, it's kind of like it, it buffs everything in and it just makes everything smooth. But make sure you don't put too much like I just did. <laughs> you know, just blend away and make sure everything's kind of nice and seamless as possible. So that's that. Now I'm going to contour with my powder by Black Radiance and this color is a rich mahogany. And I'm just going to use an angled uh, brush to put in my cheeks because I want to give my face some dimension now because I have a pretty round face. So I'm going to contour my cheeks with this brush like that and I'm going to do both sides of my face. And it also warms my face back up too. And I'm going to do my hairline. It just warms everything up.
and I'm gonna do my nose and as you can see before I didn't put the cream concealer on my nose just because I don't want to <laughs> I don't want my nose to be overly contoured so I just use the powder to give my nose a softer contoured look like that and this is pretty much the final look as far as foundation highlight and contour I would of course proceed with eyeshadow blush and all of that good stuff but I definitely wanted to come here and give you guys an updated foundation highlight and contour video since it was requested all the products I use will be down in the description and as always thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later